Hey guys, this is Sharmila and you all are welcome to Sharmila's Kitchen. Today I'll be making chicken shawarma roll. Chicken shawarma is an Arabic dish that is made by grilling the meat on spit. But today I'll be making an easy and alternative way to make chicken shawarma that is going to be wrapped in a pita bread and this is called chicken shawarma roll and it is very popular street food in India. So let's get started. So first let's prepare the chicken. I'm going to make a marinade. In a bowl I have taken 250 gram chicken that are cut into strips. Let's add spices now. In goes paprika. Paprika is a ground spice made from air dried sweet red paper. You can substitute it with red chili powder. Add 1 4 teaspoon turmeric powder. Then goes 2 to 3 tablespoon yogurt. Half teaspoon cumin powder. Salt to taste. 1 4 teaspoon garam masala powder, black pepper powder, mix it, add pomegranate powder, about half teaspoon, hot sauce or add red chili sauce, now add vinegar, about half teaspoon, mix it, add olive oil, last but not the least, add half teaspoon ginger garlic paste, mix it to incorporate spices into the chicken, now it is done and I'm going to keep it in room temperature for 30 minutes. In the meantime, let's make a dough for pita bread. First, we need to activate the yeast. So take lukewarm water. When you dip your finger in the water, you can tolerate the heat. In this, I'm going to add half teaspoon sugar and stir it. It should dissolve in the water. Then add half teaspoon yeast. I'm going to be using dry yeast and stir until it dissolves partially. Then cover it and keep this in room temperature or at warm place. After 10 to 15 minutes, the yeast will be foamy on the top. That means the yeast is activated and ready to use. In a mixing bowl, add 2 cups of maida or defined flour or plain flour. Now add salt and mix well. Now make a hole in the center. Then add olive oil followed by yeast solution. Combine all together and knead very well. Pita bread and naan bread look quite similar but there are certain differences between them. Pita is soft, fluffy and circular shaped bread and made only with yeast, olive oil, flour, salt and sugar. But naan is made with milk, ghee and yogurt and it is shaped like oval and cooked in a tandoor. But now anything can be made at home by applying some basic tricks on it. So the dough looks soft and everything is well combined. Add little more flour and make a pliable dough. Apply little more oil on the top so that the dough does not dry out. Now cover it and place in one place to rise the dough. Now let's get back to the chicken. It's now ready to cook. Heat about 1 tablespoon olive oil. When it is moderately hot, add the chicken strips in. Make sure the strips don't overlap. So separate strips and cook individually. Generally, the chicken shawarma is made by stacking marinated meat and fat alternatively on a special kind of griller which rotates and provides essential heat to the meat to grill and cook slowly. Then the meat is shredded off from the spit when it is required and serve as appetizer and used to make rolls or wraps. But it's difficult to get spit at home so this is the alternative way to grill the chicken in a pan. Or you can also cook the meat in a rotisserie in oven. Keep cooking the chicken by flipping over and it looks done. It got nice golden brown spot. Take out in a plate. Now here is my dough that is well risen. Knead it again. Now divide the dough into equal balls. Take a dough ball and roll it with the help of flour. Now 
Now put it on hot tawa. When you see the bubble appear on the top, flip it over. Brush little olive oil, don't apply too much to make it greasy. Very little oil over the bread. Now you can see some golden spots are there. So take out and our pita bread is ready. You also need some fresh salad. Here I have taken thick cucumber strips, shredded cabbage, tomato, onion and iceberg lettuce. Always tear the lettuce. Don't chop it with knife. You can take any combination of the salad or you can pick only onions or only cabbage according to your taste and mix all together and also keep this aside. Now I'm going to be making a sauce. In a bowl I have taken mayonnaise. Now I'm going to be adding garlic sauce which is also known as two and tahini which is nothing but sesame seeds paste. The flavor of Arabian shawarma wrap will come from this sauce so don't try to avoid this sauce. Now take a pita bread, apply that garlicky mayonnaise and tahini sauce on all over the bread. Some can also add store bought garlic mayonnaise and tahini mixture. On the top add red chili sauce along with fresh salad followed by chicken shawarma all over the wrap. Now roll it gently then cover half of the roll with a paper. And my chicken shawarma is ready. Now I am going to be making egg shawarma roll for those who love only eggs. In a bowl crack an egg, add little salt and beat it until fluffy. Now cook the pita bread until one side is half done and other side is fully cooked. Take out the pita bread, add little oil in the pan. Now pour the egg mixture, spread all over the pan. When the egg is little set but still liquid on the top, put the pita bread and press nicely to cook inside. I am gonna be removing the egg from the sides. Now cook the both sides. It is done now. Put on a board. Now similarly apply garlic mayonnaise and tahini sauce. On the top add some red chilli sauce, some salad on the top. Roll it very nicely and cover with a piece of paper. So my egg shawarma roll is ready for my lovely viewers who don't eat chicken but love egg. I know this is more close to egg roll but here I have used that garlic sauce then pita bread. So we can say eat egg shawarma roll and it's a good option for egg lover. So guys my chicken shawarma roll and egg shawarma roll both are ready to serve. Let me know if you want tomb recipe which is a thick garlic sauce and tahini sauce recipe. If you want I'll definitely upload on next episodes. Also let me know if you want veg shawarma roll recipe in the comment section below or I have created a poll on this corner. Please click that poll card and let me know if you want that veg shawarma roll recipe. I'll also make that for you. And now if you like this video please give this a big thumbs up. Share with your family and friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I upload new video every Tuesday and Friday. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Till then take care and bye.